Skyler, welcome to day today. Day. Getting out of church, and Skylar was telling us about what she did oh, at no, church no, today. No, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, you telling them what you learned? What did you learn in church, Sky? Oh, a house. A house? A house? A you told me you guys prayed. You prayed? No, I tried being nice. How you guys did your hands? She said she tried to be nice. <laughs> How you did your hands? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh yes, you said the prayers. Look, she closed her eyes. Freddie, what did you learn at church today? I learned that kids could be examples. And how can you be an example? That's a good one for you. Uh, I did, I did do uh, this. My mommy, listening. My mommy, my mommy. listening. Let's focus on that this week. Yeah, listening. <laughs> what she say about the people? I could do good. I could do good. Oh, my okay. So nice. Let me get the colors back. There we go. All right. What did you learn at church today, babe? Oh, my, my driving. The topic was good. I learned, what, I learned what I always tell you to do. Write oh everything down. Yes. Mom, I always tell you that. I say write, write it down. down. Write your write thoughts down. down. Write your weaknesses Why? down. And, and you're, you're, well, I can't say remind you of your weakness, Why? but you, when you see it, it means I, something. You know what I'm saying? Versus yeah. thank you. Very true. The topic today was called um, Mastermind, and it's really good. Um, it focuses on the fact that your mind is very powerful, and Freddie and I are both believers of this. We actually have this scripture um, written down on our, our little poster board in our closet, and you had this down for almost a year now, I think. It's been almost a year, exactly, almost. And it's basically um, the verse that talks about how your life moves in the path of your strongest thought. And Freddie and I really do believe that. I'm not cooking. We're gonna go take Friday to get a haircut. Oh. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I the message it really spoke to us. Like towards the end. Oh my gosh, everybody was crying. Fred was like, "Were you crying?" And I was like, "How did you I know?" You you <laughs> I was trying. To, I was trying to get it because I had like my scare on. I was like, "Yeah, but I was crying." Don't talk about yourself now. Miles and water. I didn't let him fall. Help it. When you feel the message, I see your stickers, beautiful stickers. When you feel the message and it hits you, you can't help but just Since let it. Go. Start worshiping oh, oh like that message was like it spoke to me. I was just like, oh man, like I just, I really, what really made me start crying is because I just felt an overwhelming amount of thankfulness because of everything that we've been going through this past year. It was just like it all just kind of like hit at one time, and I just felt this overwhelming amount of like peace and thankfulness and forgiveness and just all of that at one time and when you get a lot of emotions hit you like I don't consider myself an emotional person but at that moment I was that emotional person I was like oh my god thank you Jesus oh my god like it hit me I was like oh man thank you like you know and then another thing that they talked about was about um you know being mindful of the things that you thought that you think and when you're not in control of your thoughts that's how you lose control of your life so to speak and um that's something that i feel like really hits home for me and freddie because we really do believe in our thought processes and the things that we think and we try to stay pure we also try to stay practical too and that's where i feel like sometimes it 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 it's like this because we're practical thinkers but at the same time we're hopeful and 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 i want to say like wishful thinkers at the same time you know because a lot of you were in the comments talking about um Oh, I'm trying to think how do how do they put it? When we were saying like you know if we get the home instead of saying like it's ours, it's it's not so much that I don't believe that it'll be ours. Hold on, mama. It's not that I don't believe that it'll be sky. Don't let me do the countdown. One, two. All right. It's not that we don't believe that we'll get the house. It's just at the same time you have to be practical at the way you're trying to go about it. This girl, like seriously, God put her in my life for a reason. <laughs> oh goodness. So 
um when we say like if it's not it's not that we're, we're trying to say that we're not going to get it or anything like that i mean i guess we should probably put when because it's a matter of time so to speak but um people were like oh you got to put it out there and they say that because when you put when you when you say something and you believe in it then it will come to pass and I'm not saying that I don't believe this situation will come to pass, but in a practical way of thinking in what the situation we're in right now, it's a matter of when, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And it's not something that we feel like we have to have. And we're in a very blessed situation that regardless of any of the outcomes that can come out, we're still in a good situation. So my thing is, if it's if it's for us, we'll get it. And if it's not for us, when I say if we get the house, then I'm okay with that too because there's another blessing behind all of it, regardless of whichever way it goes. And that to me is why I said I'm so thankful to be in this, op this opportunity, in this position. And to be honest, based on the way Freddie and I thought back when we were, what, 19 and 22, 21? is why all of this is even possible based on the strongest thoughts that we had back then which were the way we wanted to live our lives we, we really cared Daddy, about the way we live you looking like tj what man you been at Wait, <laughs> is that it no that looks like for girls um we were over here looking at um we went to the restaurant over here like a burger place where i didn't really like the food but freddie saw a barber shop over here so he's trying to see if he that can find it that was a barber shop? That yeah. looks like for females. That's when they changed it. They changed it. Oh. It was a barbershop. So it's not a barber shop anymore? That wasn't even that long. They changed it. It's, it was been, like about, a, it's about a month, month or two. Oh. There's, unless they moved to that other location where you saw the sign that said barber shop. Uh, All right. Well, Freddie wants to check out this new barber shop. We're going to take little Freddie to get his hair cut. Normally, his dad does do it, but like he wanted to get it like edged up or something like that. Yeah, I'm not doing styles and all that stuff. I just. You just keep it maintained. Yeah. Are you gonna get you done too, or you did yours yourself? I'm gonna keep my eye too. Uh, yeah, that's a salon for girls. I see a bunch of little it's girls. Nice in there. Really. It's like a mixture. Yeah. Oh, do you want to try it out? Yeah, that's why I said cut to style. Oh. Yeah. They probably do do both, but I don't I'm know. Boo. So we went to the um, barber shop that Freddie saw, but they weren't open on Sundays. So then we rode around to find like a few other ones. We went to one of the barber shops that. Can you turn it down, Scott? You like deaf or something? Can you turn it down, please? Hey, can you turn it down, please? I'm talking to your daughter. Turn it down. I know. Let me see it. You know how to turn it down? She put it on full blast. What happened to these headphones I bought you? Anyways, so we went to the other barbershop, the one that Big Freddy used to go to back when he used to get his hair cut. And um, they didn't have any openings either. And I told him, I was like, man, just cut it yourself like you usually do. He can get it styled next time. And he was like, Freddy gets mad because he's like, some of these barbershops, like, they want you to have like an appointment and stuff now. He was like, what happened to back in the day, you used to walk in and you get your hair cut. Whoever, like, first come, first serve. So, like, right now we're at the gas station. Freddy just it's filled the car with off. gas. Yeah, trash this is one right here. Let's see. I got some trash right here too. Here you go. Um, no, that's because it, okay, that's not trash. You want this bag? <laughs> that, that's trash. That's that's not a, Skylar's little Freddy gave uh, Big Freddy Skylar's little uh, coloring book thing she got from church. It's on my here's trash. Scott said, no, that's mine. But um, since we didn't get breakfast this morning, um, they did have like light snacks at church, but we're gonna take the kids to get like um, some real quick lunch. Uh, probably like the little dollar hot dogs that they have at um, at Chuckers. And then- I forgot we eat this morning. No, they didn't eat anything this morning. Cause they, well they did eat, they had like a little, they had Pop-Tarts. They had Pop-Tarts early, early in the morning, but when we were on our way to church, we were gonna pick up something for them. And, that ended up not happening. Ran out of juice. No I'm kidding. But um, we're getting ready to go get lunch, and then we have dinner planned for tonight. Freddie's cooking. Look at her. She's knocked out. We just got out of church. She just ate her lunch, and she was down for the count. Thank you, Jesus. She said she wanted to get on the boat. She wanted to get on the boat. I should say yesterday. I wanted to get on the boat today. It's hot too. Mm, nice and sunny. Me and Freddie was in the car talking to ourselves. We had a good conversation. I can't wait that we can sit down and, and talk to y'all about it. Ooh, Freddie fell asleep too? Mm -hmm. I was wondering why it was so quiet back though. We took our, um, oops, let me get out of the way. We took our nice little drive to uh, the neighborhood. And on our way back, the kids fell asleep. Look at my munchkin punch. She is knocked out. Okay. Ooh, I'm like, why is it so dark in here? We're gonna have the shades on. All right, this meat is fully thawed. 
I had it in this um, container in the refrigerator, thawing out. Just waiting for your daddy to season it up. It looks good. This is raw meat, boy. Raw meat don't look good. Mm. But it's thought out. I thought you was going to go lay down and take a nap. Oh. When you fell asleep? When we were riding through the neighborhood? Mm, that's when we left. <laughs> mm -hmm. That car ride knocked you out. Mm -hmm. I was getting a little tired too. Alright. Well, you got a few, a few hours before Skylar wakes up from her nap. So enjoy your free time. You want to eat her hot dog? Can I? Mm, I guess so, since we're home. Because she got chicken nuggets in the freezer. Yay. So greedy. This boy eats so much. Yeah. Cook, get you a recipe book. No. no. Oh. no. Yes, Freddie just finished seasoning up the pork okay. for tonight. What's the secret? Is there any Put my foot in it. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously. What's the secret? Put my foot in. Now, literally, put my foot in. Everything you were looking, I got stuff on here. You know? Do you know where he gets that from, Freddie? Oh, uh, no, no, I've heard it before. I can't remember what it's called. It was on a cartoon that comes on Disney Channel. I put it in. I stomp it like this. Raven, um, I know what it is. Comment down below if you know. I'm not gonna say Raven? it. Nope, but close. It's an old 2000 show. In the middle. Nope. I'll hold the beat. The song was done by um was it Destiny's Child, I think? Yeah. So, I forgot how the song goes. Dun, 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 they make you run the thing. It's a family thing. Family. Dun, 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 dun. I ain't say it. I said family thing. They still didn't know what it was unless they already knew. Ah, oh, you got my dang on toe, bro. Oh, oh. I can't. He's done. You're done with that. He dropped that nunchuck on my foot. Like barely. He got my big toe. Like right here. Like where, Freddie? Right here. Look at them teeth. Like right here. They growing in. <laughs> I still got a piece of hot dog in my mouth. I've been saving it. <laughs> I forgot to eat the hot dog. He probably had to put it to the side. <laughs> Freddie ate the hot dog, but you know normally you bite it like from the front. Mm -hmm. He had to bite his from the side like no, them carrots. I did. I'm like this. Well, you was able to bite it? Yeah, I bit it off and then I ate it on the side. Okay. I like. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. My job is done. Yeah, Okay, and I don't have to work on the sides till later this evening. Do you know what you want? All right, so Freddie finally finished up with his pulled pork. He ended up sticking it in the oven um, at the end because he said he liked to put it in there. It do something to it. I don't know. But the yellow rice is done. I went ahead and fixed some of the plates. Uh, so we're getting ready to eat in just a little bit. Good. Little Freddie got his hair cut. I don't know where he went. He was over there. Oh, he <laughs> like he was right over there. I, was, I went downstairs. I went through over here and then I hid behind the Oh, I went ahead and popped this open. This is the Mosiel uh, Moscato. I was looking up different wines to try and this is from Aldi's. I think it was like $3. Um, but it actually is really good. So like you're a beginner, you don't like wine, I would start here. This is a good one to, to go through. It's really sweet. Really, Skylar? She ready for bed. She already got her clothes on. She ain't ready to go lay down in a minute. Good. You took your shower too, right? Mm -hmm. You like the barbecue? Mm -hmm. Who's did he eat his own? Or he he looked like he grabbed out of my plate. Who plate he grabbed out of? His is the purple. His oh, is the okay. purple plate. I gave Skylar a bowl so she don't make a mess. All right, but we're just gonna finish eating and straighten it up before we go to bed because you never know what tomorrow may hold. Now, Y'all ready to eat? Oh, can you fix the kids some juice really quick? Cause I didn't. I pulled it out, but I didn't what fix kind of their juice drinks. Is in my mind? I move it, move it, juice. <laughs> move it, move it, juice. <laughs> okay, let me show you magic trick. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, I messed up. I messed up. Cool like this. I messed up. Mama, your cup upstairs? Huh? No, I just. She just had it. I had handed it to her out the fridge. Where you cut, Mom? You lost it? I made my hand. What's she looking for? My hand. What's this? Don't, don't, be, don't start that whining. Where's the cup, Scott? You just had it. Look how she's walking like George Jefferson. 
You found it? There it is. Okay. So we're getting ready to end this video. Hmm. That we always, like we always do. Y'all gather around. Where is everybody? Ooh, I'm so shiny. Oh my goodness. Where's come on? So where you shiny. At? I feel Skylar behind me, but I don't oh, there she is. Alright, I'll get down the hook. Y'all love them. Ow. Why you guys sit on me? Ready? Da-da-da-da-da-da! <laughs>